Hi, and welcome to our video for Chapter 3, Section 3. Uh, we're going to divide this one up into three different ones. Probably have you guys do it three nights in a row instead of every other night just because I broke it up and we can't spend uh, two weeks on this stuff. But I didn't want to give you a big, long 20-minute video, so I'm going to do three shorter ones. All right, so here we go. So here we're going to be talking about conversion problems, where you have to convert something from one kind of unit to another. For example, meters to millimeters, or kilometers to meters, or grams to milligrams, etc. All right. so the first thing you have to do is come up with a conversion factor. And the conversion factor is a ratio of equivalent measurements. For example, one would be one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So then the ratio, your conversion factor, would be the 1,000 kilograms over 1,000 grams or 1,000 grams over 1 kilogram. I say 1,000 kilograms, that's one kilogram over 1,000 grams, or 1,000 grams over one kilogram. And they both mean the same thing. But as we get into practicing this, you'll get in the habit of figuring out which one of the two that you'll have to choose. Some other examples might be if we have one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, our conversion factor could be 1 km over 1,000 meters, which is the equivalent to 1,000 meters over 1 km. Uh, let's say you were going to do 1 meter equals 1,000 millimeters. What would your conversion factors be? When you pause and try it yourself and then hit play and see if you got it right. Okay, I hope you did as I asked, but here we go. So, in this case, 1 meter over 1,000 millimeters or 1,000 millimeters over 1 meter. Okay, so the next thing brings us to dimensional analysis, which is really how we decide to use our conversion factors. So it's a way to analyze and solve problems using the units, okay? When we're setting up and we're analyzing how we're going to solve our problem, before we even do a thing with numbers, we have to use the units. So let's do an example. How many seconds are in eight minutes? Okay, now I'm going to walk you through a few times exactly how I would expect you to set these up for pretty much every problem we do all year. All right, so we're starting off. We know that we have eight minutes, and we have to figure out how many seconds. So I want you to write it out like this. All the way to the left, what you're starting with, eight minutes. Then over to the right, put equals a line for how many seconds. All right, now a very important thing you're going to have to memorize, which is what you want over what you got. So what you want over what you got, like have, but want and got kind of work a little better. So what you want over what you got. So in this case, what do we want? We want seconds. What do we got? We got minutes. So we say seconds over minutes. All right. And when we see here that when we do our math, right, if we say it's eight minutes over one, the minutes will cancel. And we're going to be left with our unit seconds for our answer. Okay? That's how you do dimensional analysis. All right, so let's say we're going to plug in the numbers here. How do we decide what numbers go where? Well, 60 seconds is equal to one minute. So we write our 60 in front of seconds and one in front of the minute. So now we're left here with 8 times 60 or 480 seconds. You're not having to memorize or argue or figure out whether you're going to multiply or divide because the dimensional analysis shows you. All right, so let's try the other one. Let's say it's 16 minutes. Yeah, we could just double our answer, but we want to practice the steps. So we're starting off with 16 minutes. 
and we have over here equals a certain number of seconds. What you want, seconds, over what you got, minutes. And how many seconds in a minute? Well, 60 seconds equals one minute. So we write it here. Our units cancel, and we get 60 times 16 equals 960 seconds. All right, if you need to rewind to practice that a couple of more times, go ahead, and we'll be doing a bunch more of these over the next week or so, and in class. And now, let's do a couple more examples. How many minutes are in 3.5 hours? Go ahead and hit pause and see if you can set it up yourself. Okay, so we start off with 3.5 hours, right? We go equals a certain number of minutes. Well, we know that one hour equals 60 minutes. And we have to do what you want, which is minutes, over what you got, which is hours. So we're going to say minute per hour, right? We haven't written numbers down yet. We're going to check and say, all right, our units will cancel, and we're left with just minutes. Excellent. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Hours cancel, right, because this was like saying 3.5 over 1. And 3.5 times 60 is 200, 210 minutes. Minutes, minutes. Excellent. All right. One more here for today. How many seconds are in 75 minutes? All right. Pause and set it up. All right. Let's see how you do it. So we have 75 minutes equals some number of seconds. All right. Now let's see what you want over what you got, which is minutes. All right, how many seconds per minute? Well, 60 seconds equals one minute. So 60 goes in front of seconds. One goes in front of minutes. Our minutes are gonna cancel out. We're left with just seconds, which is what we want. And 75 times 60 is equal to 4,500. All right, we're going to stop there, so do not spend in, uh, too much time on this all in one day, and see you guys in school.